giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So that being said, our 15th ranked team is going to be 14-10. From Denver, Colorado, George Washington High School, it's the Kraken, 26-9 overall, and we're the winners of the Colorado Regional. 14-10 began their season in Oklahoma, where they kept in the number six alliance to the finals uh, before falling to the eventual winners, obviously. At their home event, however, this past weekend in Colorado, they played well enough to attract the attention of 16-19, the Colorado powerhouse, and the team that beat them in Oklahoma, and the Duo proved unstoppable along with 40-68 to take the region to win. 14-10 utilizes a hatch mechanism on one side of the robot, a cargo mechanism on the other, and the two combine to create a deadly combination. So congrats to them on a regional season, and good luck in Houston to Team 14-10, the Kraken. Nice. It's nice to see a little bit uh, more Colorado um, teams getting some representation. We hear about yeah. a lot about 16-19, but it's nice to hear about 14-10. Nice. Yep. Very good. A little ground pickup we're watching right now. Very cool. Interesting. Ooh, I do. I wish I had that, man. It was I know. on there. I'll, <laughs> I'll work on it. I'm going to work on it for next week. That was so <laughs> fun. I'm so ready. I know. When you said that, you had a surprise. I was like, oh, I hope it's that. <laughs> oh, I was so ready. Stupid Skype. Stupid Skype. Dang. <laughs> okay. So for 15 to 14 is team number 2168. I'm going to need some help with this one from Groton, Connecticut, and Robert E. Fitch. <laughs> so, uh, how do you do it? Rotten. 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 Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she just laughs. And Robert E. Fitch High School, it's the Aluminum Falcons. With an overall record of 43 and 13, they were the winners of the Southeast Mass, Springside Chestnut Hill, and Rhode Island events. So week two, they competed, ranked third, selected first overall, win. Week three in the first of uh, Mid-Atlantic, ranked fourth, selected second, win. Number two. Went back in New England week four, ranked fourth, selected first overall, third win. Um, this past weekend they had four unicorn matches and qualification matches. Um, they took the and they took the playoffs to eight matches total, uh, but persevered and took home the win. So they have three district events, three wins, two in New England, one in um, FMA. Uh, they have a really great robot. I, I really like their pickup and delivery of the hatch panels um, personally. And then they're currently third in New England district rankings, and we'll be seeing them again at the New England district championship. So good luck to the Aluminum Falcons, and congratulations on number 14. Sorry, Christine, I botched it. That's okay. <laughs> not my, you know, not my hometown. That's so. definitely a Rochester <laughs> thing to say. Grat. Grat. Yeah, Grat. Grat. From Rochester. <laughs> That's right. All right, so moving on to our 13 ranked team. Um, Justin's going to tell us about team 3683. From Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, St. David Catholic Secondary School, it's Team Dave 33 2 and 1 overall, and we're the winners of the Humber College and Waterloo District events. So a double banner season for Dave has them sitting atop the highly competitive Ontario district. This past weekend in Waterloo, Team Dave battled to the number two spot in the rankings behind 2056. And when the two teams got together in the elimination rounds, it was game over. Each one of their matches in eliminations were over 90 points, and it was just a blast to watch. So I can't watch Dave, or I can't wait to watch Team Dave in the Ontario Provincial Championship in a couple weeks. Guys, Ontario districts, we know that it's competitive district team dave topping the list 11 14 20 56 still have one more event to play but mm -hmm. dave is just crushing it and 33 wins only two losses and a tie just a great season for them yeah for look at their uh look at their playoffs at, at waterloo i mean with 20 56 together i mean the quarterfinals 94 to 26 106 to 47 Semifinal one, match number one, 139 points uh now 42 of those points were from fouls but <clears throat> excuse me but still looking, you know, really good. And the closest match that was played was 93 to 76 in finals two. And here, yeah. you're talking against 1241, you know, who's an absolutely phenomenal team and the Cybercast 4678. Uh, so, you know, no slouches on, on that end either. And, you know, to see Dave just firing all cylinders uh, makes makes it seem really good. You know, I think some people might think, well, they were with 1114, 2056. That makes sense. Well, I think they stand alone quite well by themselves. I think they could uh, give either one of them mm -hmm. yeah. their money. Yep. Yeah, and in the Terra Provincial Championship, we might see just that. So stay yeah, tuned. Yeah, that's that's it's true. Gonna, that's a great be fun point. to watch. Yeah. All right. So uh, from thirteen to twelve, and we have team fifty six eighty seven. 
from Portland, Maine and the Baxter Academy for Tech and Sciences, it's the Outliers. With an overall record of 33-3, and three, they were the winners of the Greater Boston District this past weekend. So they're only in their fifth season, which blows my mind. Um, mm. And the Outliers just keep getting better and better each year. They started their season off strong with a win and excellence in engineering award at the Granite State District and took the number one spot after quals at the Greater Boston District. They were undeniably one of the most consistent robots with a level three climb and solid cargo and hatch panel scoring despite heavy defense in Boston. They're currently ranked number two in New England and they're heading to the Pine Tree District um, next, which I think is week six, and definitely New England District Championship. So congrats to them on an amazing season so far. I can't wait to see how well they do at their next two events and more than likely the Detroit Championship. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I feel like we've talked about the outliers just about every year uh, mm -hmm. for the past few years. They've, like you said, they're an up and coming team and now definitely one of the uh, local powerhouses in their district. So uh, it's really been exciting to watch them grow and um, what they go on to uh, do this year. Very cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see like a lot of these teams from Maine um, are getting like more and more solid every year. I was just about to say that. I'm like, where yeah. the hell did Maine come from the last couple of years? I and I really feel like it all goes back to district events. I really do. We saw the mm. same thing in Ontario. Once they switched to districts, all these other teams mm. started pulling their game up, and the same thing is happening in Maine. I really, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing it in Texas, a new district. You know, these teams that have kind of gotten their butts kicked by 148, 118, 2468, 3310, you know, these powerhouse teams, now they realize – if we want to compete, we're going to have to pick up our game. And a lot of teams do. And it's really been a, a great thing to watch. Yeah. And I think, you know, like even being in New England, Maine is such a huge state. Um, I mean, as is Texas, but they're really spread out. And something that they have that's unique to Maine is the Robotics Institute of Maine. That's kind of like a, a nonprofit that brings all these teams together. And they they really are like the example of like rising tide lifts all boats. Like they are so supportive of each other. They have, you know, the state in its own owns like a, a practice field um and they all support each other and you can see the the massive growth across the board their rookies are solid like we we saw one on premiere night um was it bucks bucks for wrath yeah that like, sounds I right i can't remember their number right now but like they're in their like second or third year solid um you know orange chaos 133 like infinite loop like there's so many good teams in maine and they're just across the board just getting better and better yeah. so Kudos to the outliers. We had a blast playing with them. Cool. Um, and I'm sure they're going to do really well up in Pine Tree and at District Champs. I have never heard that saying before. It must be a coastal thing, but rising tide lifts all boats. That's a really cool saying. It's a, a, it's a really coach cool warmism, actually. Um, nice. Yeah. Oh, how appropriate. Very yeah, he and said so that to, to me and my students when we were um, on a Skype call with them for Chairman's Help. And my students were like, man, that's a good saying. I was like, that is the, like the most like inspiring like texas coach kind of saying that we could get yeah um, that's right it's it's definitely like a i feel like it's a good texas coach kind of mm. cultural thing we don't get those types of sayings up in new england i can't take credit for that at all <laughs> <laughs> that's funny I just, interesting yeah i was just doing a quick google search about it very cool nice yeah. all right so um so moving on <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, he's <laughs> he's trying to mess me up. Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> All right. So our eleventh ranked team is gonna be team. <laughs> yeah, almost did two four oh. six eight. <laughs> the best part is Christine set us up with a perfect segue. <laughs> <laughs> From Austin, Texas, Westlake High School, a team appreciate 31 and 6 overall, and we're the winners of the Austin and Greenville district events. So, separated by about 250 miles, both events attended by 2468 ended the same way gold medals and blue banners. This past weekend at the 148 hosted Greenville event, 2468 seated first, and they selected the number two ranked team, 3310, and them, along with rookie 7708 coasted to the win. 2468 will be a key player uh, in the first ever Texas District Championship and it will be awesome to watch for sure. And good luck to Team 2468, Team Appreciate and keep those really, really awesome sayings coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, Justin, as you kind of mentioned, you know, this is um, a team that we've been, been talking about for years now. And um, I remember I think first meeting them or first, I think maybe first giving them a sticker a few years ago um for their robot and um great team from texas and it's, it would be exciting you mentioned it there at the end about the first district um championship in texas it's going to be a lot of fun to watch for sure mm -hmm. cool 
We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.